Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing 1-2 cash games. Buying for this game is $200. Alright, kind of a weird one. So this goes open, flat, we squeeze king-queen suited. The flatter now jams. So we're calling 77 to win 127, so even if they have like ace-jack, we're getting the right price. Jacks are lower. So I think with this much money invested and them being the flatter I'm going to call, whereas if they had opened, I would not call here. But we're getting a decent price, and I can't imagine we're crushed by aces through queens very often, or ace queen plus, so. All here has ace four, so we got 43%, so yeah, even though we're a slight underdog with the money invested, we're getting the right price. Don't end up winning, but. Uh, small bet opens here, check raises after we bet flop, we'll call three on the turn. And then pot's the turn here, we're gonna call one more. Big pot Bruin, four in the river. That's actually a pretty good river. Uh, five, six does come in, but both flush draws miss. They could still have over pairs they're maybe going for it with. Kind of interesting. Um, I think going to fold. If we could flip that three out for an eight, I might call, or a seven. Or seven, we'd have two pair. Obviously, I can't do that, but I'm just saying, like, hypothetically, like a nine or an eight. But we'll full blind resplend here. All right, so limp here. We check, we'll lead out on the flop here. Flop the ace high flush draw, but turn. Snap calls, and then river the flush here for bet. Get raised, oh beautiful. Let me just double check, triple check, quadruple check, make sure I do have the nuts we do. So they snap, raise our pot size button. We're just gonna jam river here. Hopefully they call with their worst flush. And they do 10 six of spades, let's go. What a cooler there. So we open under the gun, hijack three bets. We four bet. See the call. Flop the ace here. So I'm going to go ahead and bet with set, and then I'm going to check, I think, any turn. So I'll check here. And then river. Mostly don't want to see any the straight draws come in, like queen jack or jack 10 or queen 10 suited kind of stuff. Not sure that they flat queen 10 pre, but jams obviously snap it off here. I have jack 10. I got a huge combo draw. We have to fade it. That is not the hand I wanted to see <laughs> with aces there, but we do fade it. That's like the hand that has the most equity against us. Jack ton of spades or queen jack of spades, something like that. So we call and we're good at aces. So we'll put in the four bets. See the call flop top set again. This is literally like a replay of the last hand. Hopefully it means we're doubling too. So we'll start with the bet. Top set. Uh, 10 on the turn. It's a pretty wet turn card. So I think going to bet again with the intention to check rivers just because it's such a connected river or his turn. And then heart on the river. So I don't love the hearts coming in, but I think now we try and jam top set. I don't know. I'm going to check the check call and bluff catch here actually. I don't know what to do on this one. And ends up checking. We're good. Let's see it. Ace King. The King of Hearts. Yeah, I might have butchered that river. Over here, we got button open. Three bet the ace four suited. Calls. That flop here at the gut shot. Call Jack turn. Go small in the turn here. And then going to bluff jam the river here. Block ace five suited, which is great. And five four suited. Snaps me off though. They still have the other ace five combo. All right, so block one of the ace five suited combos. Unfortunately, I didn't block the other though because that's the one that they had. I, I'd imagine ace four of hearts can be one of our better bluffs there. Small bet opens. We three bet. See a call eight four two. Reasonable start here. We'll bet half. See the call three on the turn. And bet turn. So this is hoping that if they have like nines or tens, they consider check jamming here. Flush draw with like ace x. I'm gonna be barreling like my ace king, ace queen stuff. So oh, they had eights. 
Oh, sometimes I'll have a set, but man, that's so brutal. Blind wrist blind through that pot. Open ace queen, get three bet, flat flop top two. Huge flop here. And just go for the call to start. Five on the turn. That's again. I think we're just going to call and then call any river. Uh, the worst rivers would be like the king, queen, or the king, jack, or ten of diamonds, but we would still call anything down here. Uh, ten of spades, not like perfect, but again, still a very clear call. Ace, queen, oh, king, jack for the straight. Oh man, today has just been so frustrating. Raise the ace eight here, small one flats off a short stack. Hopefully, this is the start of some big things here. So, we flop two pair, go ahead and bet. Calls seven turn. Just gonna be betting again. Player taking a minute here, size jam, call it off. Five six for the straight. Hits the gut shot against our two pair. Oh, fortunately, they were shorter, but today's woes continue there. Good flop here, so we raise big line defense, top pair, top kicker with the nut flush draw. Can't ask for much more. Uh, leads into me here. I'm going to go ahead and raise. A small lead. Uh, if we get called, I'm trying to think what we do on the turn if it's not improving us. They just put another bet. All right, so third bet here, we're just going to call. I want to keep in this player's worst flush draws too. Queen on the turn. That's again. I think I'm just gonna call again. River's weird when I don't improve. I hit the flush though. SPR is about half pot behind. Checks, unfortunately for us. And we jam it in here. And calls it off with this eight high flush. Nice, so they had the combo draw there. Flush versus flush, ace nine, getting paid. Here with ace king, hijack versus cutoff. Can jam or flat? I'm gonna go for a flat this time. Flop top two. It's a board that's really good for their range, but good for my hand. That's thirty. Just gonna be a call here. Just don't want to see a jack ten or queen. Eight. All right, good turn. That's thirty-eight. I think at this point, just get this in. Yeah. All the aces, so ridiculous. Oh my gosh, just flops top set would have flopped top two in a four bet pot. Just absurd. All right, so we've got under the gun open, three bet and tens out of the hijack here. Let's see the four bets. Not thrilled, but calling. Ooh, thrilled now, set, nice. All right, so what enough board? I'm trying to think if I just jam here if they bet. I'm gonna have my combo draws that want to jam. They still stack off aces, kings, combo draws. I think I'm gonna jam this one without a spade. This might be incorrect. I'm set. I maybe should just call. They snap call ace queen though. We got in really bad shape. Cooler of a flop there. Um, I'm not sure I should have jammed that one. If we're going to jam, it's the time that we don't have a spade in hand, but we're a little bit deeper as well. So maybe could have made an argument for just call with a set. Uh, but to be fair, like I even have some combo draws that want to jam there, like say king jack of spades, ace jack of spades. Um, so I got to have some value in there too. Most are going to revolve around like the queens and tens, I guess. So go for the four bet here. Uh, so maybe should be, I think if we are slightly bigger, I'd go bigger, but jam queens and let me hold. Even queens, though, they might have some flats here being deeper like this. And it is under the, a tie jack versus small blind. All right, hold. Oh, they have aces. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I thought they would flat ace a decent amount. I mean, to be fair, when the ranges are that strong, you're going to do more jamming with aces. But, oh, man, 150 big blinds each. There's kings of aces. So tilt to stand. I should have checked this flop. Let's play call. Good turn. Um, but, yeah. Go ahead and call here. Good river. Just didn't want to see any of those like low straight cards come in. And I'm trying to think if I can jam or not. Uh, I don't have the strongest eight. Think about jamming here, trying to get him to call the king. What bluffs do you have a king though, actually? 
All right, I'm gonna jam here versus the half pot. Forceful shoot, man. Oh, maybe a mistake there to jam for value. End up going too thin. Um, open here, get three bets. Call in position. Flop the gutter here. It'd be nice to have the backdoor clubs, but we don't. Small bet call, six on the turn. Checks, and you gotta go for half pot in the turn here. It's a bluff. I think eight, Jack 10 is one of our better ones here because like maybe starts checking Ace Jack, Ace 10, so we block some of his better check calls here on the turn. So I am planning on running this one as a bluff jam. I have like Ace Queen, Ace Jack for my value hands, Ace 3 suited myself. So we'll jam it in, snaps it off Aces. So very good trap there on the turn, top set. And unfortunately just knows I can't help myself and decide to bluff it off. I think as far as like the missed straight draws though, like I said, I think Jack 10 being the best one. Ace Queen's probably gonna bet a little bit more. So like we want to block like Ace Jack, Ace 10. Here we're gonna open button, big line three bets, call the Queen 10 suited, flop a huge combo draw. So decides about half pot. I'm trying to think if I want to raise or just call here. I think I'm gonna go for the small raise to be willing to go with. All right. Queen 10, ace 9, 62%. We're actually a slight favorite. Drill the queen on the turn, and we end up being good to the queen 10. Big flop here. We open on hijack. Small blind, three bets, the 14. We made it four. They made it 14. We call. Huge flop. We flop the gutter in the ace high flush draw. Uh, if they bet, we're going to be pretty aggressive with this one. So we raise here. All right, get it in. Ace four against ace king. We're actually a slight favorite. Fifty-two percent. Drill the flush on the turn. There we go. Nice. Ace four gets the job done. All right, YouTube. That wraps up a unfortunately a bad cash game session for us here today. So play for seven hours. Total of three thousand five hundred eighty-eight hands minus one thousand five seventy-eight. So hope you guys at least enjoyed the video and the hands today. And hopefully next time we can bounce back for a much better session. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.